Hello everyone, welcome to the Django tutorial series. In this tutorial step, we're going to set up Django and run our first PyCharm project. As you can see on my screen, I'm already connected to the Ubuntu machine. I'm going to open up the terminal I will be installing Python and PostgreSQL dependencies, which are dependencies for our Django project. As you can see, the system dependencies have been successfully installed. I will move forward with creating a new virtual environment. I am going to name it as Django env, and dash p flag stands for path to the Python interpreter. As for now, I will be using the default Python interpreter, so I will mention it as Python 3. For your information, Ubuntu 20 comes pre-installed with Python 3.8. Now I will be opening up PyCharm where I will be configuring my project. I click on Django and provide sample demo as my project name. Since I have already configured the environment, I will click on the previously configured interpreter where I will be providing the path to the virtual environment, which I created earlier. As you can see, it has automatically picked up the virtual environment. You can see PyCharm provides multiple ways to set up the Python interpreter. Everything looks good to me. I will click on OK. Now I click on Create. It takes a few seconds to initialize the project. The project has been successfully initialized. Let me change the appearance of the IDE. I will click on File, then Settings. Under Appearance and Behavior, I changed the theme from Darkula to IntelliJ Lite. We're now ready to start our development server. I click on Run and then Run Sample Demo. Let me open Google Chrome and confirm if the request is coming or not. Great, the application is working fine. In the upcoming video, I will show how to connect Django with our Postgres RDS instance. 